Kino Body's Kino Booty program. This cracks me up. I get it. Don't hate the player, hate the game and all that. Where do we draw the line with this sort of stuff? Well, there. Apparently, the line is right there. Kino Body, let's be a wee bit more subtle. All right, moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Kettle bench. This is a lecture by awards losing bold YouTube thing suitable for showing at all educational facilities such as schools, universities, Gymshark exhibitions. But first time for a quick snack. Warning, if you're about to eat bananas, you need to watch this quick three minute video. I will now proceed to take the mickey out of several famous fitness personalities and by doing so, set the world record for most fanboy freakouts from one single video. This is what you can think of as a scientific process. My methodology to expose nonsense, my sample size seemingly endless, measurement tools, pair of goggles and common sense. It took a bit of juggling. but here are the results. Caption win shout out. Dude playing volleyball whilst rocking a bum bag. Legend. Sorry, this was meant to be about you, Kenny. Let me try again. Try and name someone with more flexibility. I'll wait. Oh, easy. Your lawyer following your straight plagiarism of other channels content. Hyphy Mud is still terrible. Dan Bilzerian, Instagram player and just general rich guy has now started to move into giving fitness related content. I don't think it has legs. Okay, so at this point, a little positivity is needed. Barbell experimentation channel Chris Herrier was awarded the gold button. Congratulations on the achievement. Just don't drop it. Even a band-aid won't fix that. I'm sorry, can we just stop for a minute? This is very unprofessional, but I do need another snack break. I need to eat something now for my workout tomorrow. Completely burn off the leftover calories that I had from eating from the day before. These calories are for tomorrow. That's one rep. That's two reps. How upset people got and the Thenex army have attacked. Said that buff guy, Alan Roberts, was better than Chris, yet I highly doubt that guy can do a pseudo push-up. Or what about a handstand push-up? Your moustache is outstanding. Caption this lol. When the Natty Verified tester turns up and takes off his shirt for no apparent reason at all. Even Bradley Martin, hoverboard extraordinaire, is looking at Yukino body thinking, what is this donut doing? That is a long way up. I prefer to take the stairs. <coughs> Brett is a maverick. If by maverick you mean making this thumbnail, exactly one week after this channel made this thumbnail. The good old being influenced without referencing social media fitness. And so at this point, I have to disagree with people. I hear that Mike O'Hearn is a misleading fitness celebrity. It's just not true and it's unfair. He's a straight comedian with these video titles. And he also has a collection of Val Kilmer dolls for some reason. Am I anabolic yet? I think it's time for a PhD to enter the conversation. What are you going to sell me today, Jim? Based on artistic science, let's call it. It's based on the real anecdotal data that I've seen in the gym. What is partly glorious about this is Jim's research in the gym. And just to give you perspective, that would be like a surgeon giving information based on his experience playing the board game operation. So now he's telling you to have branch chain amino acids on top of your branch chain amino acids. He's literally just said, take branch chain amino acids with a protein shake. Is why, why? Huh? Okay, but don't be cynical. The man is 4% body fat. How do we know this? Because he told us. And so when it comes to the wonderful world of supplements, if you want a fitness celebrity to sell you said supplements, take your pick. They come in pairs, an organic variety, supposedly, or just get your supplements straight from the shelf. And so I'd like to take the mood down slightly. Please have a seat because I have some shocking and very sad news. Madeline Georgetta has quit Instagram and returned to YouTube. And just to be honest with you, I'm absolutely gutted. I just finished watching her how to look hot on Instagram video. What am I gonna do with that information now? Honestly, the cheek of it. Bow, 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 bow,
my vote is we film this post again with Amanda Nunes. But Instagram fitness is not all bad. At least we had the bottle cap challenge. Connor Murphy has graduated from stopping women in the street and exposing his torso to them to just bench pressing them in the air. Where I'm from, this stuff would get you a restraining order. But apparently in the world of online fitness fun, it makes you famous. Because the thing that women love the most is when strangers come up to them in the street and rip off their shirts. Dear 14 year olds, that ain't a real thing. Stay in school. What's popping you two bits of boy t Want to burn your belly fat? Don't worry, Julian Michaels has you covered and a seemingly endless list of other people. And not just your belly fat, maybe you want to burn your arm fat. Today I'm gonna show you how to lose arm fat and get toned. Burn arm fat, who's too spouting this nonsense? Who, who? Okay, let's get started. Today I'm gonna show you how to lose arm fat and get toned. Arm fat. All of these nerds roasting fitness YouTubers got to stop. Go find a new way of getting money. How to lose arm fat for women? Thomas Delauer, that awkward moment when the piece of research you cite in relation to targeted fat loss actually says that you cannot target fat loss. But at this point, please don't question people's integrity. If you're looking to burn body fat and attack those stubborn areas of the body, the lower abs, the love handles, mid back, shredding gel is the perfect product for you. I sh** you not, this guy is making these statements and selling this shredding gel whilst wearing a t-shirt that says integrity. Was Tristan Lee at my gym? No mate, you were literally taking pictures of a kid and then posted it to social media based on your meaningless joke. May need that lawyer again, Kenny. But because captioning posts by completely nonsensical fitness people is my new passion, this should read Kenny's target audience. But when it comes to the world of redundant and misleading supplements for personal profit for these celebrities, that's actually only part of the equation. The real hard hitting and important answer is how many supplements should you take on your non-training days? And I know that's right because I do cardio with no hands man reps that company and he gives me fantastic supplement information such as he wakes up in the morning and he needs hydration. Does he drink water for that need? Nope. Hydration supplements. He also feels sore when he wakes up. Does he perform some kind of mobility or flexibility routine? No, supplement. And just to finish off the education, his intra-workout BCAA and his post-workout protein for his anabolic window is just fantastic. Pray for your dignity, young man. If someone is gonna tell you that you should take 10 supplements on your non-training days, for sure I'm going to intervene. Fishred is still consistently uploading his somatotype to the YouTube mainframe. No, no, uh, uh, shh, shh, no, shh. Okay, that's better. Mike Chang's return to YouTube pleased many, but not the towels of the world. Mike Chang is back on YouTube. I have been training for this moment. Towels are now being mistreated in home workouts everywhere. Pray for the towels. <laughs> and so at this point, if I do look a bit tense today, please don't worry. I am wearing one of those ab stimulator machines because famous people told me to. Famous people such as Ronaldo, Ronaldo's clone. This dude is enjoying it way too much. Them sunbathing gains though. Interesting fact, Denise Richards used the ab toning belt before she fought off the giant spiders. Pew, pew, pew is the sound that she made. These people owe Zoolander a royalty check. Get shocked is close to the phrase needed for these images. How many times did you try and sell Kevin Hart your muscle stimulating machines? And I would encourage people to look at the playlist on my channel where I discuss a range of scientific topics communicated in a multifactorial, nuanced and variable manner, which I truly believe can help people with their fitness and health journeys. I'm YouTube Bolting and this is why the fitness industry is fucked.